Hello, welcome back to Dust Not Included. My name's Roy and today we're at Savers in Walwick, Rhode Island. Let's see if they have any fun vintage. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm hitting up my local Savers today. This place can be hit or miss. Sometimes they have tons of stuff, sometimes the shelves are empty. I've also noticed sometimes they know what they have and they price it super high and other times they just don't know what they've got. So I always like to look down every aisle, starting with the figurines. This end cap didn't have very much. However, this little Santa candle was cute. I didn't see anything I had to have in the figurine section today. On this bottom shelf, I noticed these Pendlefin Bunny figurines. These can be kind of collectible. However, Savers had them priced right where they should be in the range of between eight and $16. So I didn't pick those up today. It all depends on the figurines. Some are more desirable and Savers knew that. Well, the candle aisle, not always my favorite aisle, but I do take a look. Over here, I spotted this little milk glass piece. I thought it was really interesting. It was a great design, but it didn't have any markings, so I didn't pick it up. These were really pretty. They are peach wall plaques. They were made in Japan. I expected to find a lot of chips on them, but I didn't, which surprised me. They were $2.99 each. Hmm, I think those will look great in someone's kitchen. This tricked me. I thought it might have been a piece of Majolica, but when I picked it up, you could tell the weight was different. And as you can see by the bottom, it is a new piece. Well, you fooled me. I thought this porcelain hat was interesting. It was quite large and would look great on a wall. It had a sticker, it was made in Italy. But upon closer inspection, the flowers all had little chips on them. So I didn't pick up this hat today, but I loved that color green. Sage green is just such a nice color. Well, I took a look down the vase aisle I could tell this piece was modern, but I just wanted to look at it because I kind of liked it. I liked its fun, modern design, and it was made of wood. I don't know. I did put it back because it is not vintage. Then I noticed this pottery piece. It's got like a brown drip and a light blue. It's um, a ribbed design. It was really nice. Oh, then I spotted this beautiful green vase with the hand-painted roses. I really liked it. It was $4.49. And I was debating about picking it up. However, then I noticed when I held it up to the light that I believe it... I mean, I don't believe it is not green glass. It was sprayed on on the interior. So it wasn't as old as I thought it was, and I decided to leave it behind. And then I noticed there were two of them. My goodness. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. I was really attracted to the colors of this creamer, that deep cobalt with the cream and the orange. I really would have been tempted if there was a sugar bowl to match this, it may have come home with me. These guys are really fun. I thought they'd be really interesting on someone's tiki bar. <laughs> they would look great with all of their barware.
I spotted this little Christmas piece. I thought it might have been left in, but once I picked it up, I knew it was just a home pottery piece. Well, I was pleasantly surprised when I found this Royal Dalton February teacup. They had it undervalued and I definitely picked that up. I love all the violets on there. I marched straight over to my car and put that in. Don't forget to leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys and I love all of your advice. I checked this out thinking maybe it was a toll tray but it wasn't. And then this bowl had an interesting shape but it did turn out to be brand new. The shape really attracted me though. I did spot that teal cake stand, it is brand new, but would look great in a vintage display. This piece here I checked out because I have one very similar in my inventory. I didn't get this one because I already have one, but it is really pretty. Mine's a different color though. This one is too muted, I think. Checking out the creamers, nothing stood out to me. Hmm. This vase was really pretty though. Gorgeous piece of glass. I believe it was crate and barrel, to be honest, when I looked it up. So it is a newer piece, but it is really pretty and I was tempted. On this bottom shelf, check it out. I found a piece of Fenton Silvercrest. Oh, just gorgeous. They had it priced at $2.99, which is well below what Fenton goes for. So I definitely picked up this beautiful basket. Well, there's a blue onion sugar bowl missing its creamer. Yeah, not seeing too much. I did spot um, a purple fade chip and dip set. It should have a little metal piece that clips the little bowl onto the big bowl. That little metal piece, if you find it, can be quite desirable. Well, down the cookware aisle, always looking for vintage Pyrex, but not so lucky this time. Hey guys, don't forget, I have a live sale every Thursday at 6.30, and I rotate channels with Janine's. I'm also over on District on both marketplaces, Knickknack and Vamp. I hope you guys can check me out. Use the code DUSTNO80 to get $10 off. Off to check out with my items. Well guys, Savers was pretty good to me today. I'll be back. Have a great day, guys.